one of the first things that stands out is the, the region, not only the terrain, but as far as comparing the landscape on uh, Mississippi, New Orleans, uh, the whole, the whole Gulf Coast area is more flat, so you have roads coming in from multiple directions, major freeway, you have uh, docks and ports, um, you have airfields that airplanes and helicopters can transport, supply trucks can come in from different regions um, from the United States, from um, outside areas. I believe in this situation, in this region, it may have taken, you know, additional day of preparation, supplies, um, organization, because this region isn't anything like um, the United States. You don't have simple roads um, to gain access into this area. Uh, 7,100 islands um, scattered all over the, this entire area. This is, um, this is a country spread out. You have uh, cities um, that aren't major freeways. These aren't major roads no way to get supplies into this area um, because the docks were down. Uh, ferries take time to load to prep um, ship from one port to another. You don't have a, a runway for aircraft to land. What they learned from Katrina, from Sandy, from Isaac, from Gustav, from Ike, from Wilma, from Haiti, and all the other disasters, I think that there's been a lot of progress made in between understanding natural disasters, set up of the incident command system, and trying to get supplies into the right area. I think a lot of the focus was focused on the evacuation, and I think that was much more important in evacuating people uh, in this region and saving lives, and I think that was the number one priority. And one of the major factors is nobody was ever predicting or expecting a hurricane of this magnitude, this size, with wind speeds, um, this was, this was off the charts. If there was a Category 5 hurricane, this would probably be a Category 5. So affecting the entire infrastructure of the Philippine government, of all the police, affecting their family, the, the food supply, the water supply, the help that was going to come into this community had to come in from a couple different sources. It needed the world's attention as Hurricane Katrina. It needed, it needed funding. It needed government. It needed military. It needed... Um, uh, the, the, the mass amount of volunteers that you see on the streets, cleaning the streets. They needed everybody's uh, support, they needed the, the positive energy and the, um, the supply of goods that uh, got distributed through this community coming from every direction. Uh, this wasn't something that could have been accomplished for several governments. This was an uh, organized effort between a lot of different, uh, different na nations and a lot of it took place in the Cebu air, airport and you saw a lot of those goods getting distributed. I saw supplies from Israel, I saw aircrafts from Australia, from Japan, America. So many people all coming with one goal and the one goal was getting the food and water and resources to the, this community. You know, clean clothes and uh, you know, tents and everything to get these people back on the, their feet. Still a long road ahead for, uh, for this nation, for this city, these communities and I think in the next few months, in the next year, this the city's going to be back to where it was and people can continue with their lives and put this all back in the past. Nasa 4,800 family food packs ang inihanda ng Department of Social Welfare and Development para sa mga pamilyang ililikas. Dalawang ospital sa Tacloban City ang nagbukas na muli ng operasyon. The bunkhouses being built by the DPWH will benefit thousands of displaced families. Mahigit 4,000 o bilyong pisong pondo ang inaprobahan ni Pangulong Aquino para sa rehabilitasyon. If that, if there's... A lot of people trying to help other people. Everybody's trying to make sure that everybody's comfortable. Everybody's trying to move forward. Everybody's trying to rebuild. Everybody's trying to organize and clean up and uh, fix their areas and fix their, their neighbors and uh, get things back in order. Everybody's been positive. Not really thinking about the past. I, everybody's smiling. Everybody's just uh, looking at uh, what they have and valuing. I guess this life, uh, what, what this world holds in the future. So I see how many people are working together, how much progress has been made in the last few days. And I think that's what's bringing this, this city together. And that's how there's been the amount of progress there's been on the streets. 
One of the memories that will stand out that I'll remember uh, walking down one of the streets, uh, three rows of people that wrapped all the way around the block and it went down a block and around another block and they were passing wood and debris and trash from one person to another. Seeing them work through the blocks, seeing them work in teams and work in rows and uh, that they're all, uh, they're smiling, they're happy, they're, they're moving forward, they're cleaning their neighborhoods and uh, they're moving forward in their lives. Never going to forget that. That was, that was great to see. Thank you for having me in your country and treating me so well. It's been, it's been a great trip.